Hey guys, the Cube Dude here. Today I have an unboxing from CubeDZ. So in here are a few puzzles. There is... Oh wait! Oh yeah, this is from CubeDZ. For a second I thought this was from Light Take, but it's not. Light Take still has not sent me my Moyu Dianma. Alright, so here I have the Moyu Dianma. I already have one of these, a white one. This is a black one. I remember why I ordered a black one. Just I, I prefer black cubes, but right here I'm going to take off the logo sticker because a lot of times I just forget to take it off. The first turns, just as I was expecting, it feels like the white one. Again, I don't really know what to think about this puzzle. It's kind of weird. I think Moyu has just been coming out with too many puzzles. Like They just got to kind of chill, maybe come out with the 6x6, 7x7 Moyu, I mean a uh, Skew and then Pyraminx. And then maybe wait a little bit, and also the 13x13. But too many 3x3s at the moment. It's good, it has great corner cutting, but the pieces are not proportional. Reverses, but they're out of the box. I will definitely have a review of this out uh, in the near future, but I won't really be here for the next uh, two weekends, so don't expect that many videos. Alright, so this puzzle is listed on CubeZZ as a Cube Twist 3x3x5 mirror block. But after further examination, it is actually just a Siamese bump cube. So let me grab my Siamese cube. I have a tutorial for this. It was uh, one of my first few videos, but it turns like that. It has the top layer and then the RW. So here it has the top layer, RW, and then flip it around. Top layer, RW. And then the middle one, advantage. And that's something cool you could do with it. But then you can fit it like that, and that looks pretty cool. It turns really nicely. Cube twist is pretty good with these uh, with these bump cube mirror blocks, mirror cubes, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, let's continue on to the floppy bump cube. This I just wanted to get because it looks kind of fun. I'm not sure if it's a super floppy though, is it? This does not appear to be a super floppy, but the centerpiece does appear like it's falling off. Okay, so this is very stiff. And a corner fell out. I did not even know that. So this already had a little pop, but I'm going to hold the center pieces in place. I can tell while turning it that they're kind of like moving. Let's see if I can show it. So here you can see it's flat. You can see it kind of goes up on the sides. Uh, but here is what it looks like scrambled up. This feels really weird actually. Here is it scrambled up. I guess I'll give it another few turns. Alright, so there it is scrambled up. Looks pretty cool. Now, on to the Moyu Evil Eye version 2. This one is the one with the hole. And of course, we have these crappy Moyu boxes, which they look nice, but I just hate opening them. So here is the version 1 I got for my last QDZ unboxing. It turns like this. I believe it is a 5x5 mod. And here, it is the same thing, but there are these holes, as you can see. Alright, so both of these puzzles should be pretty interesting to solve. They turn very smoothly. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the Moyu Evil Eye version 2 is easier to solve because you could tell what colors each face should be. So I think the version 1 is the one that has parity. But, as you can see, it turns just like the version 1. It just has those little holes. Alright, so I'd first like to thank QZZ for sending these puzzles to me to review for them. I really do appreciate it, and you guys should all go check out their site. They have the best prices, they have free shipping, and they're a uh, really reliable store, and I love them. And I'm going to start ordering from them some more, if I can find cubes that I don't already have. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing from QZZ. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and read the description for the Letter War winners. This video's letters are TCB. Read the description if you're confused about what these letters are for. Discounts and coupons can be found in the description as well. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.